Hello my boys, good morning. I made my coffee here, I came from the kitchen because I want to share a great strategy that I use on Lickstar to make a lot of profit. It's an out of Atlas strategy which makes it even better. So let's jump into it. So this strategy is about Val Temple maps, but with a twist. We won't do the regular Val Temple maps because they are expensive on Lickstar, as you can see 40, 50 kios or we can trigger Val Temple maps using scouting reports and a few tricks that I will share in this video. And let's see first what to expect from these such maps. Here you can find a lot of double corrupted items. Depending on the corruptions and the unique base, this can be very expensive. Here I did 12 Val Temple maps before going to sleep and here it's what I got. Even a single corruption can be expensive if you're lucky, depending on the unique. Look here, more than 10 divine ops just for maximum power charges on this item. Now, the meta changes and this is important. Look at these corruptions. These are great corruptions. This is like 12, two divine ops for this base. But um, let's say, for example, I would get the same corruption on a breeze up here. Then we'd be 20 divine orbs. Here it's another example. This I got it from someone that did Val Temple maps. Uh, it, this uh, quiver is 40 divine orbs. Yeah. So this quiver I bought it for 40 divine orbs, Val Temple maps. So you can get rich very fast. As you can see, a lot of double corrupted items. Depending on the item and the corruptions that you get, man, this can be very, very expensive because people like to push up their items to the next level. You know, even I, I bought double corrupted items and I paid premium. I paid divine orbs for all these items are expensive. You can even get a lot of corrupted blood jewels. Here is an example. I already put them in my stashes everywhere. This is from Val Temple Maps. Good stuff, get them pretty often. You also get that card, Price of Protection, that awards you Elder Maps. I turned them in already, so I turned them in. I Look, uh, these maps, you get them. So you will see, we will do some maps and you will see that I get plenty of them. You also get a lot of favored maps, so I have City Squared favored. This one that has unidentified corrupted are from Van Temple Maps, that I do it with Kirak. Yeah, good to know. You also get this one if you decide to do the last boss cooperation. This sells if we bulk for 20 chaos orb. Yeah, uh, doing the last uh, map boss in Valt Temple maps is optional. You don't have to do it. Basically, we're just looking for double corrupted items, uh, and we price check them. Enough talking, my boys. Now I need to tell you how to get uh, Kirak missions. Yeah, so you need Kirak missions here that we will roll with scouting reports. It's very easy. You open your uh, Atlas strategy and make, you make sure that you take these notes here that give you extra chance to get the Kira mission upon map completion. You also have some notes here and you also have some notes here. So basically, in your Atlas strategy, you want to take these notes and you keep running maps until you have a good pool of Kirag missions. There's another way to do it, actually, which involves the Beast. The Beast is called Primal Cyst Color and upon... Um, let's do it. If you buy this beast, make sure that it has item level, high item level, 81 or 83. That would guarantee that you get red tier Kirag missions. You see, you don't want to get yellow or white, just red tier. Else Val Temple maps will not spawn. It's important. After you buy your beast, you go to the menagerie. Okay, I need to show because some of you are sucky boys. Are you a sucky boy? <laughs> you right click it. Then you go to the altar and you put Kira here, Kirak, Kirak. Gain five Kirag missions. Oh, I don't have rares. Man, you got the idea. Game five, you click craft and you, you get five Kira missions. Now you know. So if you want to buy it from the trade website, it's pretty easy, actually. Oh, look, I already have it. Just make sure you put here item level 81. You know, this is. And you buy it. Don't overpay for this beast. If it's more than 20 chaos orb, do not buy it. If it's under 20 chaos, buy it. Else you will just take Kira mission nodes and you will do your normal atlas until you have multiple ones. Now I'm going to run some uh, Val Temple maps and see how rich can we get. Because I don't want to bore you to death, you know, we want some action. You want some action? You click Val Scouting Reports, you see, you get it pretty often. And now I'm gonna run three Val Temple maps, and we will see how much profit we make in three Val Temple maps. Okay, so we do three maps. First thing that you need to know, you want to play with your map opened. This way you can see the strong boxes on the minimap. So GGG Last League did a change to the game. Now all the strong boxes appear on the minimap. Now these Val vessels are actually strong boxes. That's why you can see them on the minimap, which makes Val Temple farming much more easier than it was in the past, because we can see them in advance. Yeah. I'm gonna run three maps and see what we get. Oh, I don't want this. You can also drop these special essences. Yeah. Good. Each Val Temple map has uh, 10 Val Vessels. You can count them in your head, how many you opened. This will help you 
to know when to exit. For example, if you opened eight or nine, you need to go out. You don't want to waste time finding the last one. You don't need to open all of them. Just the majority. Yeah. Because you can trickle Val Temple maps pretty easy and cheap. This is not a Val Temple map, I will skip it. See, you have got City Square, which is the favored map. Good. No. Okay, I want to check this one. Very easy. You disable all the other modifiers and you just put the corruption. This is 10k also. You can sell it, you know. You get your money back for the Val Scouting reports. But I want to hit uh, really expensive items like jackpot drops. No. No, I play Pet of Exile for such a long time that I know all the uniques and their corruptions. So I know what sells, what doesn't sell. On the other hand, you will get better at price checking things. So if you run Val Temple maps, uh, it will help you a lot. You will become very good at price checking. So all the people that run Val Temple maps in Path of Exile, they get really good at price checking things. Some items I don't even need to pick them up. I know the price just by looking at the icon. Artica, this I will price check because um, price is vary depending on the leak. This is 10 kilos, so I can put it. Oh, I like these corruptions. One moment. So you disable everything and you check it like this. One corruption at a time. So this is around 5 kilos. This is around 3 4 kilos. Yeah, so this together I can put it 10 kilos. Or so 10, 10, 10, 30 kilos. Now the, the real problem is finding the buyer, not the items. But since it's leak start, a lot of people play the game. So finding a buyer should be fast. Or at least faster than usual. You can skip the boss arena if you don't want to do it. Because these bosses will one shot you. You need to have experience. And a good build. Good, I like to do it, but you can skip it. Now let's do the second map. Because in this showcase I want to show you that you can get really, really expensive items. This was nothing, actually. I made like 50 kills orb here, but we want to make real money. Let's roll it. One. Uh, depends on your luck, not always you will roll it with one. The average is around 5-10 scouting reports for a Val Temple map. I need to put it out there. Okay, my boys. Now, let's get rich for real this time. As you can see, the Val Temple map has a maze layout. That's why a lot of people hate it. But because we can now see the uh, boxes on the minimap, it's better. In the past was worse. Mm, nobody uses this amulet, but the corruptions are decent. You can sell this for 10k also, but it will sell very hard. Mm, here I have a box. No. No. I try to run them fast. The more Val uh, maps I can do per hour is the better. No, so you just rush for the Val vessels and uh, you open a new map. This is how you do it. Look, Corrupted Blood Jewel. And it gets duplicated. No, if I get good explicits, this can be expensive. So when I'm price checking, I'm just putting the most expensive modifiers, which are these ones. This jewel, I can sell it easy for 45 kills or this. And I got a copy also. Sadly, it, if it had also life, it would have been several divine orbs. But it didn't have life. Good. Again, you don't need to open all the valve vessels because... Uh, 
if you open the majority, you're fine. So here I open nine valve vessels. I skipped one. Well, I'm going to price check this. No, five kills is nothing. Okay, my boys, we do the boss and we run one more because you got the idea. Good stuff. Oh, my coffee is already cold. <sighs> I need to drink it. But I'll make a new one because I don't like cold coffee. So this ones I'll put 10, 10, 10. This one it's essence for 20. And this one I'll put 45, 45. You see, I got a lot of uh, items from Val Temple maps. Now let's do one more. Pack, pack, pack. Here it is. Good. So this strategy, I love it so much that I also do it in mid league and end league. Yeah. So if you know my channel or follow me in the past, I got multiple items from Val Temple maps that I sold for more than 400 divine ops. You heard that right? 400 divine ops. Uh, it was a flesh crafter with plus two minion gems and plus one socket gems. I sold it for 400 divine ops. But more than that, I sold multiple ones for 200 divine ops. Or, uh, depends on the corruption and the item base that you get. Yeah. So if you want to do maps that can give you jackpots, even better than Apotecary, just do Val Temple maps. Eventually it will happen. You will get some something very crazy. Let's check this one. I'm not sure at the moment with... Uh, if you're not sure, just price check it, you know. No. Don't be afraid to price check. Again, I'm uh, playing with the minimap open. All pro players in Path of Exile play with the minimap open. This is uh, a clue, by the way. Man, I didn't got... What's this bullshit, man? Uh, I didn't got anything expensive. Oh. You know, when you when I close recording, I start getting them. But when I'm recording, I have no luck. What's this? No. Man, this is incredible. Oh, this one is a good corruption. You see, if you get this corruption on any other amulet, it will be most of the times expensive. But sadly, this is a shit amulet. This is a great corruption that you can get. You can apply an additional curse. Depending on the amulet that you get this corruption, it can be worth more several divine ops. Or if it's a good amulet, it's worth more than 20 divine ops. That is the best corruption for amulet, by the way. You know what? I'm gonna do one more because uh, it took me just two minutes and um, I didn't got anything good. I want for the video something really expensive. Yeah. Plus, I love doing Val Temple maps. It's my favorite thing. Okay, I have Elemental Reflect. This means that I will not attack with Frenzy. I will get one shot it. So no Frenzy. If you're wondering why I do Elemental Reflect, I have this one. Awakened Elemental Damage Attacks. At level 5, you get this one. No Reflect. Yeah. It will help you doing Reflect maps. Man, this is expensive. What's happening? Let me check. Eh, eight kills. Oh, this can be decent. Let me check first. No, it's not. Corrupted. Oh, look, this is a jewel. If we have life and good explicits, can be expensive. Sadly, we don't have life. Let me check with um, energy shield. 
Oh, it's good. Also some caspit here. Uh, penetration for elemental re resistance. Man, this is a good jewel. Yeah. Uh, this is close to one divine orb. It's good. Uh, you see, I made part of it. These jewels are pretty common, but uh, try to pick the ones with mana reservation and the corrupted blood. Uh, this sell best. If you also have good explicits, it's best. No. See, I skip a lot of jewels. If uh, the jewel does not have corrupted blood immunity, I will not pick it up. Because I want to make real divine orbs here. I don't care about few chaos orbs. Oi! Oi, this can be expensive. Oh, it has a uh, low... It has low roll here, but man, this was so close. If he here had five, it would have been very expensive. This I can sell it sadly for just five diviners. So here I had a chance to make good diviners. This I will sell for five diviners. But if this had five roll here, I would, could sell it for ten diviners. So I made five diviners here. Good. Still, I won't complain. Five divines is five divines. Better than nothing. Let's check this one. No. No. Okay, my boss, this was good because uh, you see what to expect. Not to mention that this helmet could have had uh, double corruption, making the value much more bigger. So if this helmet had uh, decent double corruptions, for example, mana reservation multiplier and power charges, it would have been more than 20 divine orbs. I will take this. So the best corruptions for most helmets are mana reservation multiplier. Those um, that bump the auras with plus two. And uh, power charges for a lot of helmets. Okay, I'm gonna do the boss now. You can skip it, by the way. You don't need to do it. And I'll call it a day. Boys, I hope this video was helpful. This, again, this is my favorite farming strategy that I do it all across the league because I just love Val Temple maps. Ah, so I made here one Divine Orb. Here I made uh, five Divine Orbs. Not to mention that you will get uh, some extra stuff like scarabs, maps. You see, I look at a lot of maps. As a matter of fact, I'm full of maps. You see, my favorite map. If it has uh, five, eight modifiers, you can sell it for a good price in bulk. I hope that this video is useful. Go buy some Valve Scouting reports and start rolling on your map device here because you will not regret it. Just trust me, guy, and have a good time in this game. Good luck.